Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. As I said, I'm going to work on the next set before I do the animation. And I actually currently have the animation scene set up. Um, I still have to fix a few things because right now for some reason um, the um, Lord Knight, so the other set, the, 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 knight, the set with the knight armor, like, um, isn't really properly safe for some reason, so it's it's just a block of, of, of gray mass instead of the, the actual um, object, so I have to see what exactly is going on here. And, uh, yeah, I have to just check up on whatever I did that uh, makes this happen. Um, what I did in the meantime, though, is to actually make the armor for the other characters that I want uh, to be part of this, of the animation. So I'm, I'm probably, most likely, gonna do the animation around the weekend, um, or at least that's my current plan. Um, there will also be a video about making it, so yeah. Um, and I'm not going to talk too much about the animation, because if I would, I wouldn't have anything to talk about on the weekend. But yeah. So I grabbed the Genesis 2 female and the um, full body suit that I made again. Um, and I'm using this currently for, I'm using this for the making of the, um, of the armor pieces. Uh, one note, um, in the meantime, what I did is I actually checked on the uh, direction of the faces in my um, in my base model and in the um, in the full body suit, and I set this that the faces are actually facing outside, um, which mainly is helpful because um, Unreal Engine, same as Unity, is um, trying to reduce the workload. So basically. All faces are just one-sided, so I actually cannot use most of the stuff I made. Yay. Um, this is my own fault. I knew this was a thing and I didn't bother fix it until recently. Um, so yeah, this is on me. I have to deal with this and I will deal with this. Um, yeah, so basically if I ever start actually working in uh, Unreal Engine 5 uh, for some bigger project, I will definitely make newer content for this and not use the older content that I have. Um, so much for that. Um, there's also a big chance... Of, no, no, actually, there, there's, there's a very small chance that I will use um, in the... Uh, monthly uh, live stream that I will actually play around in um, uh, in Unreal Engine. Most likely, I will do this on the um, on in the last week of March on Tuesday again. I think so. Maybe the twenty eighth. Um, sounds about right to me. Um, and I will most likely actually just play Dwarf Fortress and hang out and chat a bit. Um, and I will take up um, anything 3D related the next month in uh, April. Um, but yeah, this is uh, in the future, so we're not 100% sure on that yet. But we'll see. Um, yeah, for the piece that I'm currently working on, you can see that I'm mostly copy-pasting parts of the armor and making them flat, thick um, items. What I currently uh, use is a copy-paste from the full body armor that I made, I don't know, a good time ago. Um, the class on this one were actually really cool, so I just copy pasted them um, or imported them here and uh, copy pasted them and now I'm 
just aligning them around the armor to give it a few more details without actually too much uh, work because this is actually an armor that I will use in a few um, um, uh, in a few things because if I ever going to make a story this is part so basically I'm already preparing for making a longer story or making making any story at, actually at all so um, this would be part of that so it's gonna be a fantasy story obviously at least in some sense um, yeah other than that um, uh, at this point I was really uh, basically just working these parts around the uh, torso checking what uh, what happens if I remove the base plate the, the base um, um, piece and um, Yeah Then I was set, now I'm setting up the UV maps because um, yeah, Obviously I want to copy paste most of that stuff to the to the right side of the upper, uh, of the body of the model um, and then I had a bit of a break um, because I was actually thinking about what I'm gonna do next. So uh, yeah, just copy paste this, and um, yeah, this is what we currently have. And at this point, I was thinking, okay, um, I have a lot of flat surfaces. I can make them metal, but it doesn't really feel right. So I had actually I had stopped the, the recording for uh, here for a bit. And then I decided to give this a bit more um, um, a bit more detail. I mean, it's not much uh, actually. What I went for here, I was just like, okay, let let's see what 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 else I can get 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 up with. Um, what else I have, and I made this a kind of uh, yeah, not really. Not an idea what it is. Um, this kind of form, in any case. And um, excuse me. And yeah, um, the rest is basically really just um, the usual using the symmetry tool and aligning all the points with the base model um, and I think this is the main difference in my work style against for example blender or something uh, because in blender you just have your lump of, of, of 3d material and you shape it with different brushes while hexagon really is more about um, the manipulation of these two, of, of these points and edges and faces which of course you can do in Blender, of course many people do in Blender as well, but I think Blender has a more artistic um, way of, of dealing with, with the model, <clears throat> while uh, Hexagon has more of an industrial uh, way of dealing with the uh, model and the shapes. But um, I mean, it would be interesting to know if other people who watch this and use Hexagon um, have a different approach. On this, I mean, I could also see uh, see someone like uh, start using um, um, a, a giant blob of material and just uh, use the shape function in this. So um, yeah, I, I could I could see that uh, uh, happen. Yeah. Lastly, I added a last um, clasp on this. And that's about for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's not really that much. Um, as anyway, uh, as always, stay healthy, stay safe, enjoy the render, and see you guys around. <laughs>